I made a video a week ago about OnPassive, this mythical company that the founders think is going to be a $100 billion company. Yes, $100 billion. You'll see in just a minute. They actually believe it. One of the founders threw a subtle shot at me, so I figured we'll have some fun in this video. They're saying that they're paid, they're not paid, they're, you know, and put a little bit of a cloud on the situation because that's what they get paid to do. It's, ta it's time to spank their ass, okay? And we can do that in a very professional way. There's nothing that gets me more going than a middle-aged man telling me that he's going to spank my butt. I find this on passive scheme to be so fascinating and entertaining that I decided to make a longer video about it. This one might be a bit long, but I promise you'll get a laugh out of the on passive guys. All of the sheep in this live stream are saying that the naysayers are going to be proven wrong. I've never been more right in my life. Marty even says that the new product for hatters will be oh bite me. There are desires to spank and bite. If on passive was a product full of hot Instagram models, I'd sign up yesterday. So don't entertain it. If people are upset, they don't believe in the journey, they don't believe what's really going because some knucklehead said something on YouTube, get a hold of me and we will get your whopping $97 back. If you're a founder in this future trillion dollar company and watched my video, then I hope you ask for a refund. Some people have gotten their refunds, which I'll gladly promote, but everyone asking for a refund would create a bank run scenario because Ash doesn't have the money. This just gave me a good idea. Ash, the CEO, should open up his books showing where the money is being spent. He labels all of his customers as founders, and like any company would do with its founders, he should describe where the funds are allocated. For the on-passive customers, aka founders watching this, you should demand this from Ash and make sure whatever he provides is not photoshopped. Well, I think we need to brag about what we have without using names. Let's brag about this journey and where we're going and the evidence that we do know. Do we know a date? No. Do we know soft lunch? No. This poor guy and all of the founders are so lost in their belief that they found the trillion dollar gravy train that they keep overlooking the fact that there are no products. But don't worry founders, Ash, the brilliant CEO, is building up a multi-billion dollar company without any products. Uh, 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 say, uh, field uh, and, and, and sector, uh, you know, categorized, uh, also driven, uh, whether it's uh, from health and beauty, business services, home and garden, entertainment, shopping, uh, science and technology, community, government, social, art and design, all of that. Uh, so you will have uh, all of those uh, intelligently built within our uh, platform. To any investors out there, are you ready to invest your money in this business? There's nothing that gets me reaching for my wallet like a company that wants to build a product that can compete in every sector and business, led by a man whose only proven skill to this point is being able to say a word salad on every webinar. Uh, so the, the future is, is unbelievable. I mean, our total estimate for that component, which is on the door, what Dr. Bill was describing just uh, previously, uh, is about 300 billion. People actually believe him, $300 billion. Does anyone giving him money stop and think about how insane this guy is? Just to give you an idea of how insane Ash's valuation is, here are the top 30 companies by market cap. Somehow on passive, without any products or customers, is worth more than Netflix and Comcast and creeping up right behind Adobe. Uh, and that is one product of on passive. Uh, so the value is unbelievable what we built. built. So this is how things are going to actually show the true power of Unpassive. We can talk about or oh, create standalone might be 1.6 billion as of today. But if we talk about or oh, create when you merge it with the domain name, when you merge it with the uh, 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 hosting, when you add the SEO, when you add all of the other uh, relevant areas of that value, then it becomes a three billion dollar, three billion as of now. I don't even need to add any jokes to have you laughing. A three billion dollar valuation for a company with no products and just an idea. This is like me saying I'm going to create a search engine that will compete with Google and it already has a six billion dollar valuation because the idea is so great. So what we have is so valuable and so powerful and, and then measure on that every other component. So you can measure on that. Uh, so for example, the ONET, okay. Uh, uh, as of today, we confirmed that ONET, I know Dr. Bill also is very interested in that, uh, so we can confirm with you that ONET 
has been completed as of today. This webinar was streamed live on December 26, 2020, and there's still no ONET, which is miraculously going to compete with Facebook. Uh, as of now, ONET is the future of social media, the clean social media. That is for the first time, you are not the product and not the victim of those social platforms. Nine months later, and we still don't have Onet. What a surprise to no one. This dude, Ash, has been promoting a scam for three years now. Three years. Right down the street from me is a new state-of-the-art stadium built for the Las Vegas Raiders. This is a $2 billion stadium. If you know construction, you know the level of complexity it takes to build a $2 billion stadium. Guess what? From the moment they broke ground until the moment the first event was held inside the arena was a shorter timeline than Ashes for his simple web applications. There's no time wasting uh, anymore. There's no spying. There's no data reselling and manipulation. Uh, as we know, some uh, of those major platforms are in deep trouble as of now as we speak because of the manipulation, because of the uh, dirty uh, games that they've, they've played that. I, I knew that, I've known that for a long time and uh, now they are exposed. Ash is somehow going to offer a better product than Facebook at a lower price. How he'll charge less than free is still to be determined, but if you give him another four years, I'm sure he'll have the answer in a webinar soon enough. When, when we launch on Passive completely or officially globally, it will be a complete ecosystem, 100% tested, functional, and flawless. That's the only way we will launch it, all right? but but we're confident we will do that and nothing but that. This dude is so clueless about running a tech company. He's going to release a platform with 50 software products all at once that has been tested and is flawless. I still haven't determined if Ash is a lying manipulative scammer or just so incompetent that he sounds like a scammer. On the careers page for OnPassive, there is a job listing for a data science senior software engineer, LOL, and a job listing for an immediate joiner, even harder, LOL. I've never heard of an immediate joiner before, but it looks like they want someone to manage their database. Ash is climbing the ranks of most incompetent CEO on our pyramid scheme company list. So measure on this, like ONET, the way you're going to see it, every three weeks, you're going to look at it, there's going to be a new feature on every three weeks. So write that down. This is this is a law, law. It's, it's irrefutable. It's irrefutable law that on passives launch will be in the future and never arrive. If you want to have a few laughs, watch Ash's webinars. The dude can literally muster up the most ridiculous word salad of tech jargon that I've ever seen and his followers eat it up. They all think he's this mad magical CEO capable of building the next trillion dollar company. Here's the list of features for ONET, meaningful discussions and high quality content sharing, LOL, news feed and timeline, events and marketplace, notifications and groups, messages and inbox, reactions. Facebook is getting close to being 15 years old, built by thousands of the best software engineers across the world, and somehow Ash is going to compete with it on his first launch. No data and no advertisers, yet he'll somehow compete with this tech giant with literally the same features. Zero Net relies on advanced Illumina aluminum technology to reliably develop to meet the needs of its users and attract new users. Use the perfect platform to enhance your social network, providing you with customizable features to enhance every experience. This whole on passive business is such a scam that I'm ready for someone to tell me the joke's on me and that it's a satire for a pyramid scheme company being created. Advanced aluminum technology? Am I missing something here or does none of this make sense for how people fall for this? Onet also offers targeted and targeted advertising opportunities for individuals who want to to increase visibility for clear consumers. Companies can also use ONET to send personal information to customers. Whoops, I was wrong. Ash is saying that there will be targeted advertising opportunities for individuals, so not companies. I don't even think Ash has the most baseline understanding of how web applications work. No data selling, but somehow people are going to have targeted advertising opportunities. What exactly are they going to be targeting? So at any moment they say, okay, you can now do a soft launch. But here's the difference, okay? The soft launch now is gonna be also inspected and is gonna be approved by legal department. Even the soft launch is not gonna bring us a hassle or run into issues. Soft launch can also be a different thing. So I thought about, you know, it doesn't have to be just what we have in the back office. Back in this December webinar, Ash was spending minutes going on and on about a legal department that OnPassive allegedly has. He'll have a legal department to defend himself against the class action lawsuit at some point, but we're not there yet. It's the legal department that isn't giving the green light for releasing a web application. And I want you to focus with me here, okay? 
2021, okay, it will be the year that Unpassive will be uh, complete and ready. I'm not talking about the end of it or, you know, uh, obviously for the most part, at any time now, we're ready to go to the soft launch. And here we are nine months later with no signs of any launch. Ash will just keep stringing his customers along and they will fall for it after every single webinar. There are two things that changed. So the value of our product, obviously we already agreed that has changed. So we've become much more valuable than two years ago. Talking about the billions of dollars of potential market cap. That has multiplied many, many, many times. And at the same time, the value of all those products has increased what happens in pyramid schemes like the one Ash has created is the creator will string people along for as long as he can. This has happened over the last three and a half years. Empty promises, grandiose claims of a new billion dollar opportunity, get in now before we launch fake urgency and hype. He also said that the soft launch was right around the corner. People have been good little sheep so far. When the creator senses people may be losing hope, he'll then claim that there are delays because the opportunity has gotten even bigger. Ash has done this. What was once a soft launch with two products is now a launch with 50 products. People stick around longer since their patience is justified and the expected payout is now viewed as worth the wait. After the attention my videos get and when people's patience starts to wear thin, Ash will need to come up with another excuse to keep the sheep in line. My guess for his next excuse will be blaming the fictitious legal department again or he'll claim the apps are in testing now and will take a while for all the bugs to be fixed. Uh, I will tell you, uh, sorry to disappoint you, Quite the opposite. This last two years experience, it humbled me, it satisfied me, it gave me another perspective on life. I'm I'm completely done with the money. Ash is using the founders funds to pay for developers in India to create websites. This entire operation was created for Ash to get paid to feel like a CEO. Surely he isn't dumb enough to think his products are going to be worth anything. His founders, on the other hand, think they will be. Ash is sharing the wealth with us. So a, billion, a unicorn company, billion dollar company as they launch, a lot of that money is just going to come to the founding members of Unpassive, but it's better than that. They projected that at the end of one year, <clears throat> Unpassive will be a super unicorn company. A super unicorn company is a company that has a value of over a hundred billion dollars. I would love to find out the they he's referring to who's evaluating these companies. I would pay they $10,000 to value my Tinder profile because I get every match on the app if they hype me up like they did with On Passive. This guy, Mike Ellis, is so blind he wouldn't see blood splattered on a white wall. His patience is unprecedented. This is a dude who started promoting On Passive in April 2019 and is still promoting it today. He's made something like 180 videos with updates of On Passive after listening to his Messiah Ash Mufara on webinars. His dedication is insane. I actually low-key find it entertaining how incredible this guy is. Dude, seriously think about this. Let's say I tell you I'm going to create the best protein shake on the planet. I tell you to begin making YouTube videos about it today and two and a half years from now you're still promoting it even though there's no product. I have a legal team holding me back. I've decided to release 50 other protein products and the soft launch is nowhere in sight. Here's how the compensation plan works for this pyramid scheme. Uh, you're not only forced downwards you're forced horizontally. So as you come in the 25, you will be forced to go to the 125, 250, and 500. You're not going to be forced to take money out of your pocket. What's going to happen is the money is going to accumulate in your account. And when you're ready, when, when your organization is ready to go to the next level, Ash and his team is just going to move you over to the 125 the 250 and the 500. What happens in these schemes is the customers believe they're making money, but it's just numbers on a screen. The creators of the scheme keep people in for a long time because they have the customers believing that they're making a bunch of money, but the money doesn't exist. It's in the pockets of the creators and going to the first investors in the scheme. Are you ready to see what happens when Ash gets called out live when one of his sheep starts to break away from the flock? How are you doing today? I'm doing okay, but I'm struggling just to pay the bills because I haven't no, worked since okay. before COVID. So, um, just kind of wondering, need financial advice. Yeah, what has to happen in order to open the soft launch so I can start bringing money in and feed my kids? This is a public webinar. You can ask that question tomorrow on the uh, private webinar. For those of you watching who are in on passive, please be comfortable challenging Ash on live webinars. He has your money and owes you an explanation for why the products haven't launched yet. And I would love to make a video reacting to it. Okay, I didn't look at the details. But, but we, can, we can give you a rain check for another question. 
Come on. Okay. You, you can go ahead. Yeah. So or you've said in the past, it's a done deal. What specifically do you mean by it's done? Do you mean the programming is done or it's a done deal that we will open? But can you give me a timeline or what's done? What's the actual done part of a done deal? Okay. Yeah, that, that is definitely the wrong place for the, uh, for the... I love when scammers get confronted unexpectedly. This webinar was in August 2020, and guess what? Ash still doesn't have answers. Are you ready for one of Ash's infamous word salads? We were talking about the ideal perfect business, the right ingredients for a business model, okay? Okay. All right, that business doesn't exist. We decided to do something called on passive, applying, endorsing, okay, including those perfect business ingredients. That's right. what we're done. And we realized after, you know, we've been doing it, that we're able, okay, and we got all the resources and abilities to make it happen. It's a done deal, it's a matter of time. If you ever need to write an essay for a college class and you're 13 pages short, just hire Ash to fill in the rest. This dude has the ability to say so much without ever saying anything. He's so bad with his words, he could talk his way into being guilty for crimes committed before he was born. Hi everyone, my name is Red Redfern and I want to talk to you about Go founders and on passive. This guy, Red Redfern, has a dope name straight out of a discount James Bond movie and has been promoting on passive since this video was released on February 12, 2019. Red is as patient as Mike Ellis since he's earned zero dollars from on passive, yet he's paid his startup fee and has put out hundreds of videos on on passive. Now, going on to the other video that surfaced, which has had loads of hits and everything, I'm not going to dwell on it too much, but this guy is a serial videoer for calling out Ponzi's, calling out bad businesses and all the rest of it. And he does every single video the same for one reason and one reason only. And that is because he has monetized his YouTube channel. And guess what happens when he monetizes his YouTube channel? All us idiots here go and watch his video. He called the on passive founders idiots, not me. I do get monetized from teaching people how to spot scams and pyramid schemes. Guess what? There's a reason why I featured on passive. You've been warned. When Ash exits the scam and leaves you hanging, don't say you didn't know. And he gets paid on it. It is nothing to do with what he has said, because quite frankly, if you have watched it, you will know that half the things he has said are old. They're not true. He hasn't got his figures right. Blah, -de blah, -de blah. Instead of addressing the claims I made, Red just says that everything I said is false. Okay, prove it. Where's the product? Where has the money been allocated to? Why is Ash's office a virtual office? I enjoy doing this, so I would love to see you dance around in circles with your logic that on passive is somehow a legitimate business. It's a business for Ash, as he's the only one who collects money. Because he knows there is nearly 900,000 founders, okay, that are all looking on the internet continually about on passive and all the rest of it. I know for a fact there aren't 900,000 members. You wanna know how I know? Because that would be an $87.3 million payday for Ash. He would have shut the company down and ran off a long time ago if there were that many people. It would have been a more impressive rug pull than any of these influencers with their crypto scams. There's just enough people for the founders to feel like there's a lot, but there's no more than maybe 20,000. How about this? You get Ash to prove that there's 900,000. I know he's going to say something about the legal department advising him not to, so please challenge him live on a webinar. I would love to see it. Just show the database table, that's all. It'll take him two seconds to do it. We are ruffling people's feathers. Remember guys, we are going to be the correction to the corruption. And these guys don't like it. They do not like it when a new person has come along. They do not know like what is going to be happening because their gravy train is going to cease. Yes, on passive is going to challenge YouTube. Red, I know you haven't made any money from promoting on passive. At what point do you move on? You're at two and a half years now. I know deep down that patience is wearing thin. How much more time are you gonna wait on Ash? Look, man, get your money back now while you can. W myself and Marty thought about doing a video to say something about this. And do you know something? It's, ta it's time to spank their ass. I am not gonna give him the breath out of my mouth to try and explain anything because uh, really that deep down what difference is it going to to make he's not wasting any time on it by spending time speaking about it nice logic and proving me wrong would be great for all prospective on passive founders but 
you can't do that. So you hide behind the claim that you're above it. Here's my challenge to you. On Passive is supposed to be a competitor for Zoom, Shopify, Facebook, and Gmail. Why don't you quit using Zoom for your webinars and use On Passive's product? Why are you using Gmail? Why don't you just switch over to Omail? What is going to make the difference is the proof in the pudding. And what do I mean by that? When we get the O founders back office, when we got at least of those three products that we will be physically using, right? This will shut all the naysayers up because the people who say there's no products, there's no back office, there's no website, there's no nothing. All it is, is a money generation program for Ashmu Farid. This will silence them. Ash has done a great job of releasing products so far. It's only taken him three years for an MVP. Red, what is Ash's track record of building software products? He's never released any, so where's the confidence coming from? Anyone who knows the software world knows how much of a clown Ash is by saying he's going to release 50 software products at once that will be tested and without bugs. He clearly has zero idea of what he's doing. Um, and so if we use conservative projection, to me, over the course of five years, it's very realistic for someone to have made a total of $2 million in this company. Everyone promoting this opportunity is so lost in their own fantasy about what a legitimate company is that they have literally zero idea on what they're saying. If there was any way to express a number less than zero, then that would be their knowledge on business. This guy is a founder and his name is Dr. Michael Williams. I would love to find out where he received his doctorate degree because that school should shut down its program if this is indicative of their alumni. He's been introduced as the math expert of the bunch, but can't spot an obvious pyramid scheme. And so why would you not want to share it with other people? Why would you not keep it to yourself right oh i got no friends left oh i got no family left really are they dead are they dead they're still alive put some information in front of them let them tell you no it's not for me don't prejudge them don't thinking well the last 50 deals that i did didn't work out so i'm not going back to my family and friends why not this may be the one that they actually look at it says you know what i think this one will actually work what I believe to be true is all of the people signing up for On Passive are people in the network marketing space that just haven't figured out that it's all a scam. You could even hear it in his words. Even if you sent the previous 50 opportunities to your friends and family that didn't work out, you should still let them give On Passive a try. I imagine the conversations Michael has at his family get togethers go something like this. While watching football, the announcer will say something like, the Saints have a good opportunity to score here. And Michael chimes in, speaking of opportunity, does anyone want to hear about a way to make some passive income? And then everyone rolls their eyes. Ugh, not again, Michael. Can you please take one year off from promoting these schemes? And on today's webinar, I got the information that it's actually worth uh, today, standing around $3.5 billion. Every single one of these promoters have zero idea about business evaluations worth $3.5 billion today. I would love for Ash to actually be transparent and tell these people how many people have signed up and where the money has gone. There is not a single investor that would buy this company making it worth zero. Uh, the other one, a big shout out to uh, Ivan Van Dyke. He has stepped up to the mark. And if you remember the video that was put out by a certain person uh, slating, well, me and a few other people and on passive itself. This guy's actually done something about it. I won't tell you what it is, uh, but I just wanted to say live on camera to Ivan Van Dyke, fantastic mate what you've done and obviously that will help. Yvonne is such a hero. This loser spammed my comments saying, I'm a scammer. For Spencer, every online business is a scam. That is his income. He makes about 15K a month on other people's successes. He is the scammer, wake up. Yvonne the incompetent idiot is his new nickname. Me exposing pyramid schemes and fraudsters somehow leads him to believe that I think every online business is a scam. That couldn't be more false. That's like saying you don't care for sausage pizza and Yvonne jumping to the conclusion that you hate all pizza. Since you're curious, Yvonne, I made twenty four thousand two hundred five dollars from youtube in august or aka twenty four thousand two hundred five more dollars than any on passive founder will ever make from their investment what's funny about people like yvonne is i'm actually on his side but he's too dumb to notice he's obviously deep in the on passive scam so he's not able to see it but i'm on his side explaining why he's put his money in a scam ash is the one i'm against and he should be as well but he's experienced too much cognitive dissonance to see he will not interview these people he is only interested in his money he receives with his silly videos i would love for Ash to debate me live, but we already know what happens when Ash gets confronted with the most simple question about when the products he promotes will be launched. I'll give him another three years to answer the most simple question. Ash, when are your products going to be launched? Don't worry, take your time. Uh, 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 say, uh, field uh, and, and, and sector, uh, you know, 
SC is the scammer, wake up. Yvonne, given your brain works entirely different than mine, can you please share why Unpassive is a legitimate billion dollar company in the works? Because I just don't see it. There's been no proof of anything. And when confronted, everyone shrivels up quicker than their fearless leader's balls in an ice bath. Unpassive is 99% complete. If you're in on passive, if you're looking at on passive, you should get very, very excited about that. That is a great milestone. Too bad the final 1% will take a decade to complete. Mike, it truly is incredible to see you and all the other founders in the Leadership Council spread the message of on passive multiple times a week for years without any real updates. And every day I wake up, it's something bigger and better. It's going to be faster. It's going to be unbelievable what it's going to do. And we get to turn around. Well, you know, what's our guarantee? We get to help people. Thank you on Passive for providing myself and my audience entertainment. Ash, I worked QA for a large tech company a couple years ago. Please let me see your products and how flawless they are. Thanks for watching.